An inversion of the U.S. yield curve, where short-end rates are higher than long-end rates, has historically been an accurate predictor of a coming recession, having preceded every recession since 1955, with one lone exception in 1966. The theory is that the market is telling us that short-end rates are restrictive and will cause economic weakness, and that they will eventually pave the way for lower rates in the future. The problem with the indicator, though, is that the recession generally begins 12 to 18 months after the initial inversion, making it difficult to hedge risk or speculate on the coming change. Historically, the length or depth of the inversion does not correlate well with the length or depth of the corresponding recession, but it does correlate with that recession's inevitability. The current 2-year versus 10-year inversion just passed its 2-year anniversary, making it easily the longest inversion in history. Currently, things seem to be changing, though, with 2-year versus 10-year having shot up from negative 50 to negative 19 in just three short weeks. Some analysts believe that this movement is a signal that the recession is nearer than anticipated, as the plunge in 2-year yields has come with the increased expectations that the Fed will ease in 2024. The economic data has taken a turn for the worse, with disappointments in retail sales and in labor. Now, currently, futures markets predict that the first cut will come in September and be the start of 50 basis points of easing in 2024 and then another 117 basis points by September of 2025.